What is up, Black Diamond Clubbers and people all around the world? It's BDC Live time. Call your friends. You know what to do. It is on. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button here on the channel and make sure that you like tonight's transmission and make sure that you share. It's three simple things. Make sure that you subscribe, like, and share. Tell your friends. We're live right here on YouTube, just as we are each and every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I have the lovely Lacey with me tonight. It's exciting. We're here. We're together. <laughs> Is that what's happening? <laughs> I didn't know if you were going to keep going. All right, well, what do we have happening tonight? We're giving away $600, folks. We're drawing six names, $600, and we're going to be talking about how to build a network of people. Um, that will help to support and refer to your business. You can't miss this. This is super important. This is Relationship Capital Week here in BDC Live. And um, by special request, because you always say that the topics are generated by the viewers, um, I'm going to be talking about how to transition from suits to hoodies. Um, I want to know who business. asked this question, actually, and, and what, why the curiosity. Are they trying to transition from a suit to a hoodie or a suit to a, a black black tee or a suit to a, a good friend, button Joe, down Joe, Joe Sass. or a polo. Joe I don't Sass know. Joe wanted, wanted us to cover this. All and right. we, All hey, right. we are, we are um, YouTubers of the people. So when the people, when the people call we us out. We are of the people. Yeah, when we're of the people. For the people. See, Paul With Natoli's topics by on the people. here. Hey, listen, we're going to be keeping it a little bit short tonight because yep. this is Quest 7 Mastermind Weekend. Um, Quest 7 is flying in from all around the country in spite of the ice I was going to say, except for from DFW. No, well, that doesn't eh. matter because we I saw four Quest 7ers on private flights today. Ooh. You know, listen, if you are looking to go big, if you're like, hey, man, I wish I was flying private. First of all, you can't just join Quest 7 and sit there on the sidelines. No. You're going to have to change the way you think. You're going to have to change what you do. You're going to have to get in the game. But I got to tell you, this is only our third year of Quest 7. And to see four Quest 7 members on private flights, well, that just is absolutely amazing. That could be you if you want to be a part of Quest 7. Um, reach out to Tristan, Tristan at BlackDiamondClub.com. We can make that happen. <coughs> Bless you. That was good. What are you allergic to, Florida? Nope, oh. really <laughs> All right. So, yeah, super excited for our yeah, Quest 7 event Natoli, tomorrow. Joanne Paul's here. Siebert. Joanne's taking a red eye, she said. See, she's going to get here. They're all rolling in. Brian Gawke, he's on the rowing machine. Doing oh, some cardio. Good. Hitting that cardio He often up. listens to us, I think, while he's doing cardio. So I'm glad at least we are you know, exciting enough that he can work out to our voices. Hey, tomorrow we are going uh -uh. to be we are going to be dropping some very um, big news. Very big news. You got to be plugged in on Black Diamond Club. We're going to drop it first to our Quest Seven members at some point tomorrow. Then we're going to drop it into Black Diamond Club. Go to www.blackdiamondclub.com. You can become a member. You can join over seven hundred and some odd other service providers. All of them looking to reach even more people, make a bigger impact, and to create the lifestyle they deserve, which includes flying private all around. Wherever you want to go, um, you should be on private jets to Austin for Sales Matters. That's coming up March 23rd and 24th. We've got a few tickets left there. We haven't even begun to announce our guest speakers, but I can tell you this. If you're a shoe fan, if you're a fan of the shoe game, um, you're, you're going to want to be there. You're, you're going to want to be there, be there. there um, because the shoe game is going to be very, very well represented at Sales Matters March 24th and 25th. Austin, Texas, you got to get your tickets. We've also, we're, we got all kinds of stuff going on. You should be flying private to Edinburgh, Scotland um, in June. We are taking over the Kinross Castle, and we are going to be hosting myself and Lacey and David Meltzer and you. All you got to do is get registered. Go to experientialmastermind.com. We would love to have you there. Check out that Kinross Castle. That's absolutely beautiful. We're going to be just sitting there drinking scotch, enjoying some Bordeaux, eating amazing food, but most importantly, hanging out with each other. We're going to be masterminding, learning best practices. And I got to tell you, it's interesting to see some of the people that are jumping in now. 
Um, some really amazing high level people are mm -hmm. coming. I think we have two spots two left. Two spots left. Two That's spots. it. I mean, I think those Love are going to go pretty quickly right. too. Yeah. Two spots left. And don't forget everybody, as Megan is pointing out, James Lewis, Eagles fan. They call him the Jalen Hurts of video <laughs> production. James Lewis is producing tonight live from Naples. So we don't have the cutaway shot because James is here in Naples, Florida. Hey, also, so is Lukey Pukey. And so <laughs> is Megan Banker. All of them here in Naples, Florida. Again, like I said, we're getting ready to roll out an amazing event here with our Quest 7 members. So we're running this with a not as much tech, not as much room. And no, I built no, this. No, no, I don't. I got that cool stick thing No, right we there. can't even see. Yeah, I, got all, like, no. yeah, I can't see. Yeah. Like, okay. I'm blind. But I can see the comments. All right. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be amazing. Hey, let's talk about Network of 90. All right, let's do it. So I ran a webinar. If you didn't get the uh, webinar, if you're in Black Diamond Club, by the way, we put the webinar, the entire webinar, in your membership portal. So you've just got to log in. You can watch that webinar. And if you it's haven't been in your membership free. portal, please figure that out. And, and message one of us if you can't figure it out because there's some valuable content and information in there for you. Hey, this Too is many a, people underutilize the portal. Yeah, but this is a great question. Julie Bronze wants to know, know if we flew the Canasta. Oh. So no, we didn't. We, we did not we, fly the Canasta. We had Luke pick the names. Out of the you, canasta. Out of the canasta. And Prior fly to the coming. names. We yes. didn't fly the whole canasta, but no. we did um, a special drawing. And he's, we do need, he's off We off need a backup canasta, though. We this is what I was thinking. Canasta. No, like a backup canasta here I thought we had with one. all the same don't names. We have a backup canasta? No, we don't have a backup canasta. Oh. We need a backup canasta. We need a backup canasta. Yes. But we have the names, and we'll um, maybe James can uh, capture... Uh, can share when he captured uh, Luke drawing the names out of the canasta. It was done, um, you know, just like on in the NBA. So prior to tonight's transmission, um, we had Price Waterhouse <laughs> was supervising. Um, Luke drew six names out, out of, of the canasta, canasta. with his eyes closed. You will recognize not it is the same names. We have it, they are. You will you will recognize their names yeah. out of the canasta. They are definitely and canasta names. He flew names. them here. Um, with security to Naples, Florida. They've been locked in a briefcase that has been handcuffed mm. to him since he arrived in Florida. Mm -hmm. There has been no funny business. No breach in the chain six from names, the Canasta to the Florida house. <laughs> it doesn't matter because, and well, I guess it does matter because somebody could have alerted some of these people. Along the way? Along the way that they're, no, but they saw their were name. but those names were secure. Right, but that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's why we had to have security. Yeah. Um, so, yes, the Canasta um, is in Indianapolis. The names have been drawn previously. They've been held under strict security, and mm -hmm. we're going to be revealing six names. And it doesn't matter because you still have to be present to claim your prize. Six winners tonight. Anybody who's present, you're getting $600. And what a great way to wrap up a Wednesday for us to give away 600 bucks. So I did a webinar this week on referrals. Yes, and it's, every BDC member has it in their in their. Well, and portal. and like I said, if you if you don't know how to get into your portal, please get into your portal. If you're on here and you're not in BDC, let us know. Let us know that you want don't access. Let, me know. let let Luke well, or Megan let, know. Well, uh, maybe they don't know Luke don't, or Megan. I don't even know if how to don't... get in the portal. Huh? I don't even know how to get in the portal. No, not you. I put stuff in the no, portal. And I was going to say, if you're, not, if you're not in BDC, let one of us Ooh. know, and we can send you the link if you're not in BDC for and you the webinar see that, yeah. all about how to get more referrals you, in 2023. If you're not in BDC and you want the link, you must email Tristan at BlackDiamondClub.com. Perfect. He's I love it. He's the gatekeeper it. of the link for the replay of the webinar. The webinar was all about referrals. Yep. One of the strategies talked about... Well, just a little 30-second recap. Everybody <laughs> wants referrals, but they don't have referral strategies. Right. Like, or they only have sense. one referral strategy. And we or always none. say that it's, that's not enough. Because you need I more even, than one. I even said on the webinar, asking for referrals is not a referral mm. strategy. Mm -hmm. That's not a referral strategy. We need, we need multiple referral strategies. But here's the thing. Everybody says, look, the reason why I want to have a referral-based business is because um, you know, other people are out there doing the marketing for me. Right. right. And that's better than me having to go do the marketing, arguably. I don't know if that's totally true, but that's why people want a referral-based practice because what it does, it creates leverage. Uh, more mouths out there speaking good about you helps to drive more traffic, more business into your business. Well, one of the surest ways to do this is to create this thing called a network of 90. Now, if you're brand new in business, one of the easiest ways to create your network is just to go out, you know, old school, meet and people. And meet people, shake hands, you connect. get somebody's card, you build out a spreadsheet. I've got your first name, your last name, your phone number, your email, your address, going to be very important, and then notes. 
And I, I want to keep notes on, you know, when did I meet you? Who are you? What are mm -hmm. you interested in? What do you do? And there's any notes, any any what we call data or intelligence that I can gather about the person. And especially you want to intentionally listen to very personal data, right? Like things that they say that's a little bit unique to them. I think that that's important to note. I notice too, just as an aside, everybody wants a referral-based business and everybody wants to know more people. I get that question a lot. Like, man, I'm seeing you on social media around and with all of these people. Like, how are you doing that? And the, the answer is it's very intentional. Right. So, you know, relationship is probably the single most valuable asset that you possess. But like, you know, you put your money in a bank mm -hmm. or you invest your money in, you know, real estate funds or you like you, you're careful about where you are storing your money. But really people aren't that careful about where they're storing their relationship capital. Mm. So I asked like, you know, hey man, like who do you know? And then you like are like going through a, a Rolodex in your mind. I ask like, well, when was the last time that you spoke to them or reached out to them and they don't really know? Network of 90 is a way to catalog and organize your relationship capital. So what we'd want to do is create this spreadsheet and we want to start to fill it out. I can just go around and meet people and put them in. Um, I could sit down if you've been in business for a while and, and fill that in. But here's the qualification. In order to make it into the network of 90, you know these people and they know you as well. Right. Right. Well, I was going to say, and don't forget on your spreadsheet, I think really important to add on to there is you have to put when you connected with them, like last connected them with them and how, and that's what people are missing all of the time. A lot of people, you know, you're just not top of mind for them because you think you may have connected with them a couple of months ago and maybe it's been eight months, maybe it's been nine months, maybe it's been a year. I can't tell you how many times people misjudge the last time that they spoke to somebody, the last time that they sent them a text, the last time that they sent them a message. So this is really important, not only to catalog and keep track of your relationships, but to make sure that what you think is actually happening with them is actually happening with them. So the idea here is that we've got 90 names on your spreadsheet. Now, once I've completed that, even before you've completed that, I'm going to start this process. The network of 90 means that I'm going to take the top name on my list and I'm going to reach out to them on day one. Yep. And I'm going to do one of several things. Number one is I might share compassion. Right. Now, when I say compassion, a lot of times people think that means like, oh, I feel sorry, sorry for, for you. Sorry for you, yeah. Compassion could be like, hey man, I saw that you won an award for Female Entrepreneur of the Year. Congratulations, mm. good, good job. Um, I saw that you were recognized by the insurance group that you work with. I thought that was really interesting. I saw that your son won the city championship in football. Uh, this is great. All of that, this is compassion, like just sharing, like I see what's happening in your world. Number two, you might share information. Mm -hmm. Because we've gathered intelligence, I might say like, man, I know how, how much you are into peptides. I saw this article. I don't know if you saw it. I wanted to Thought share you would think this, it was interesting. this article with yeah. you. Here's the link to it, right? So sharing information, not information about what you do. Right. Like, hey, let me tell you about what I do. It's just information that you know that they're already interested in. Um, and then number three is you might share a connection. So this could be a direct referral. Hey, I wanted to send somebody over to work with you, but it could also just be like, hey, I know that you were looking for a videographer. Um, one of my friends, um, James, he has other friends that are looking for video work. Let me connect you to James because if he understood what you were looking for, he might be able to um, place some people with you. That connection is very valuable. But here's the thing. I'm going to reach out. Of course, I'm going to follow up, especially if there is a response. Right. But then I'm going to take that number one name and I'm going to drop it to the bottom. It's now in number 90. And what that does is that tomorrow I'm going to talk to the person that was previously in the number two. And then I'm going to drop them down. And the next day, number three, and what we're going to do is we're going to effectively going to be able to cycle through the entire list in a quarter. Yep. And so once a quarter, I have a touch point with everybody on my list. I'm staying top of mind. And I'm sharing compassion, information, or a connection. And that is what allows me to amplify my voice. People now are like, because they created a relationship with me, they're more likely to go out. Now, this sounds, first of all, people, some people might be thinking like, this is not going to work. That's dumb. Because it is going to work. Because it works. That's one of the key ways that we've built our relationship capital. Number two is a lot of people are like, well, I don't know how that's going to get me business. That's also dumb because just being top of mind with people, those people that are out there out and about and they're meeting other people. And those people are saying like, Hey, do you know a fill in the blank, whatever you do, because you're top of mind, they're easily able to say, Hey, yeah, just, you know, go talk to this person. But here's the deal. Most people, frankly, you know, I, I love when Dave Meltzer talks about gratitude and he says, it's super simple. You just in the morning, 
And at night, you just you express gratitude. He says, you know what? Half the people, when he's giving a, a live talk, half the people in the room by tomorrow are not going to do this. In three days, almost none of us will be still on the discipline. The thing is, is if you want a referral-based business, you have to have the discipline to manage your relationships in a systematic way. Now, you don't have to use an Excel or Google Sheet. There's CRMs that you could utilize, but it must be managed in a systematic way so that everybody in your true network is feeling these touch points over time and receiving valuable, not just, hey, what's up? Did you see the Eagles game? It's actually value. It's compassion, it's information, and it's connection. That's the pathway to create that network of 90. They're asking what the three C's were, but don't forget, I mean, just another thing that you can do is you can share their stuff and support their business. Absolutely. I know that you have the three C's, but I think it's really important. A lot of times people say, well, I don't know how necessarily to connect with them. I can't be, I can't find a way to connect them to somebody else. I you know, there's nothing I am seeing that I can be compassionate about. Well, then you can share their stuff. You can comment. That's another C. You can just comment on something that they post, like it, you know, just offer support in a way. That's what most people are looking for. Just like you, they're putting their, their selves out there. They're putting information out there and they're looking for people to support the content that they're, they're actually creating. So that's just such an easy way to you know, connect with somebody and stay top of mind if you can't do any of those other things. Well, and it's not three C's. It's compassion, information. Information and, and connection. connection. And then you added comment. I would say, too, that you don't want to just simply, like, just leave a comment and then drop them down into, no, into yeah. the 90th spot. Um, but you could um, even just talk about their post. You know, I, I, don't, I haven't seen Avatar 2. Have you seen it? Avatar no. 2? Um, Avatar 1, the, you know, sort of the line was, I see you. Mm -hmm. right? And that's the thing. Like, hey, man, I see you reaching out and so you're recognizing i right. see you have a need for a graphic designer let me introduce you to my graphic designer right i see you are doing well high five i love what you're doing and i see you are looking for information on here's what i let found me help you yeah. so it's literally just i see you but listen you have to you have to um be out there being and exercising this as a discipline i'm just telling you it's not going to work if you just like half-ass this you have to actually do it and i am telling you that if you do do it um your, your business is going to multiply because that's the other thing is because the people that are on your network will will appreciate this yeah so they're even apt to make more introductions to you you're going to grow your own network which is by the way if you don't have 90 just get started because your network will grow because you're doing this the network will appreciate you reaching out and i think the most important thing that you said when you're doing all of this is the consistency i mean and i mean there's Nothing that's going to work except for being consistent, right? And the reality of it is, is we see people start this list. Maybe they have 20 people on the list. And that's the other thing too. You know what? People always hear us say a uh, network of 90 and they feel like they have to fill that 90, those 90 slots up as quick as possible. Look, if somebody is not responsive, if somebody's not returning the favor, if somebody's not connecting back with you, boot them off the list. It doesn't well, need to be full of 90 duds. Well, we've talked we about want this. quality people. I think there. every year you should eliminate at least nine of them. Yeah. 10%. Get rid of nine people on your, on your network of 90 because they're the worst 10% in your entire network and just say adios. That allows you in that year to meet nine more cool people right. to replace them with. But if it's full, if all the seats are full on the bus, then there's nowhere to sit. We've talked about that forever, though. Make sure you dump the duds. Like You cannot be putting energy into people and continually putting them back on the list and trying to reconnect if they're not connecting back with you. So don't feel like you have to fill the 90 right away. But consistency is still key. I don't care if you've got 10 on there. Drop them to the bottom of the list and do it again. You're going to yeah. cycle through 10. Quicker. But yeah. consistency, consistency, consistency. Um, well, we have a question. Does it make sense to swap people out when someone new comes along? Only if they're better. I mean, you can. There's no, there's no rule, too, that you can only have 90. You can you have got, more than 90, too. you 126 yeah. on your list, that's phenomenal. I will tell do you. Do 180 and do two you, a day. I mean, this would I'll be just, fantastic. But yeah, that would be fantastic. Yeah. But I'll tell you over time, I guess i got to tell you, for me, um, you know, I, I find that it... it Oh, I, I'm encouraging you all to start with 90. Yeah. Um, I'm telling you, for me, over time, it's less than 90. Yes. It's hard to stay in true contact and true relationship. And I'm talking about you're doing business with people. Like you're, We're talking about we're trying to get deals. I'm not just trying to like hustle clients. I'm talking right. about big deals. 
it's hard to be in real relationship and keep up with what's going on in 90 people's worlds. Well, I was going to say there's a difference between, because the network of 90 is building relationships and see what shakes out to the top for relationships that you then want to further develop and deepen. And that's what you're talking about. You can't have extremely developed deep relationships with 90 people and stay on top of it all the time. It's just not realistic. These are just like w- w- relationships that you're developing and staying top of mind on. And then from there, you're going to extract the people that you truly connect with to deepen those relationships, to have collaborative partners. Johnny Steffens is asking if clients can be on the list. They can, but they're, they're not default on. Right. So clients are on the list because they are actually in your network. So of course it's natural that you're going to have some people in your network become clients. Yes. I mean, this is what happens. And they can, of course, be on the list, but just default dropping all of your clients? No, because they're clients. They're not actually part of your network. And so, you know, this is all about, you know, growing your network. All right, I want to transition here real quick. Don't forget, folks, we're drawing six names tonight for $600, but we had a special request. But before you get in that, I just want to say one last thing is if you are in uh, Block Diamond Club, this actually already exists. The spreadsheet on your marketing sheet as a tab in your uh, membership site. So make sure you check it out. A lot of cool stuff in that yep. membership site. www.blackdiamondclub.com. So I had okay. a special request to talk about this idea. I spoke at a marketing workshop, um, and I think they just wanted to clean up some of the details of it. Um, in marketing, we were talking about this idea of how you dress. Mm. And how you dress is a marketing consideration. Price is a marketing consideration. How you dress is also a marketing consideration. Now, we work with a lot of healthcare providers, and I get it. It's 2023, and it's super in vogue. One, mm. of the, one of the hardest things being a consultant in the business world is, look, I'm going to wear what makes me feel comfortable. I'm going to wear a T-shirt and Lululemon pants because that's what I feel comfortable in. And I always tell people, like, listen, I mean, I'm not knocking you, and you can light up the comments here. Go ahead. Disagree with me, but I'm right. Because science, <laughs> because science, because science, science, That's there's two, two, um, research, research. studies it's, that, uh, I, yeah. that I'm going to point to. Um, number one is, um, just in sales, mm-hmm. right? Super clear. It is beyond clear for males. It is a white button down shirt with a solid color tie, typically red, red. and then solid color pants, typically red. I'm sorry. Blue. Not red, typically blue or yes. black. Right. I mean, all you have to do is watch any political Politician. debate. And this is how they dress, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's a very selling, it's a convincing, it's a trust building um, um, color combination, solid color shirt, typically white, solid color tie, typically red, and then solid color pants, blue or black, period. End of story. Females, it is pencil skirts and solid color blouses. Pencil skirts, solid color blouses. End of story. Now, this is where we run into problems. Because then, you know, healthcare providers... They're like, well, I'm not going to wear a pencil skirt, especially our chiropractic friends. Like, I can't adjust in a pencil skirt. Okay, that's fine, but sell in a pencil skirt. Nothing that says that on Wednesdays you can't stack up your new clients or your sales opportunities. Put them all on that day. I'm not talking about your Having operation. a change of clothes and then yeah. just change into something do. that's more comfortable and, and, and listen, in. everybody, please pay very close attention here, my friends. Pay, pay very close attention. There's tons of programming on TV about plastic surgery where you can actually see the plastic surgeon when they do the consult always has a suit on. Mm-hmm. If you want to know how to dress as a female, watch Million Dollar Listings Los Angeles. They don't wear Lululemon to sell a $6 million house. What's that other show on Netflix? Um, real estate show on Netflix? Million Dollar uh, Listing? No, that's on Bravo. Um, there's <laughs> another one on Netflix uh, that everybody watches. Again, we're talking about strong sales, yeah. persuasive dress. The other piece of research, um, they took doctors, medical doctors, and they brought them into um, rooms with patients, and they varied their dress. Yep. They switched it up. And when they would come in, they would ask the patients to give like a rating to see kind of what the, you know, and this asked, they didn't, the patients didn't know they were doing this. Like, you know, what happened to the trustworthiness? Mm-hmm. Selling Sunset. Selling yes. Sunset. Thanks. What Kip. happened to the trustworthiness <laughs> of the doctor when they came in? So sometimes a doctor would have on like jeans. Right. Sometimes a doctor had on a white coat. Sometimes a doctor had a stethoscope around their neck. Sometimes Some, a tie. Sometimes, sometimes, a tie, no, sometimes tie. no tie. Sometimes no tie. Like they just varied it up. Do you want to know what the number one trust building or trust ruining effect or piece of clothing was the, the tie. tie now i gotta tell you something because i know who's i know who watches this program it's all these it's all these chiropractors 
Medical doctors hate ties as much as chiropractors. There's, if you believe in germs, there's nothing more germy than wearing a tie that you don't wash into a place where there's sick people and putting this tie back on over and over oh, again. Like you just but bend over, it's the germ medical doctors dip. wear ties because science. Mm. It is the single, you can take the stethoscope off, you don't need to wear a white coat, but for to earn the trustworthiness of a patient, based off of this research, it was the tie. So here's what I say. If you're brand new in business, if you're brand new in business, you are well served to listen to us and wear what we said mm -hmm. because you haven't earned that trust. You haven't earned the right to break the rules. But what about Patch Adams? Right, Patch Adams earned the right to break the rules. It was part of his personal brand. So when you're coming out, and I don't care if you just graduated or you're new in your business, people, you don't have a personal brand. I don't care what you say, you don't have a personal brand. But then eventually you have earned that right. You earn that right through a couple of things. Number one is time. Number two is results. People begin to know, listen, man, you go down there to the guy with the black t-shirt. He's kind of not going to look like a doctor, but that dude changed your life. You earn those, those, you earn the right to do that. You know, I talked about too, like in the speaking world. Um, and many times, look, if I'm going into, if I'm going into an audience that I don't know, I am at least going to wear a suit. I might not wear a tie, but I am at least going to wear a suit. However, when I speak to a Black Diamond Club event, I'm going to wear a hoodie, most mm. likely. That's what I wear, or a black T-shirt. Why? Because that audience, I have already pre-earned their trust through things like this and through working with them in Black Diamond Club, through coaching, etc. But if they're a cold audience that's never seen me and I come out there and I look like a, a schlep. Now, listen, if you are all and you over. you still wear a suit. And there's times. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I wore a suit this past weekend. That's right. So, listen, if, if, if you're talking about a cold audience, but also at the same time, if you have an Instagram following of 6 million people, wear what you want. But if you have an Instagram following of 6,000 people, you have not yet earned that right. That's what Patrick right. Bet David calls saint status. Now, I might have or you might have saint status in a small niche of people called Black Diamond Club, but we definitely don't have saint status to be going to some realtor event in Minneapolis and showing up looking like I look right now. Right. Right? Does that make sense? No, absolutely. So that's the story. You've got to earn the right. You've got to earn the right in order to be able to change the, change, change the script. And so many people just want, they think it's your personal brand. It's not your personal brand. That's not your personal brand. You haven't earned personal brand. Well, takes and I time. was going to say, if you are already in your business where you want to be and you're achieving the things that you want to achieve, you may not have to alter or shift the way that you dress, the, your appearance, your image. But if you're like, man, I'm, I'm really trying to achieve some lofty goals. I'm trying to get my, my business to move forward. I'm feeling a little bit stagnant. Uh, my sales and conversions aren't where they want to be. Well, maybe this is just the missing piece that you need to take a look at and say, how can I adapt, shift, and change the way that people see me when they first meet me to move myself forward in my business? And I got to say, and, you know, we, we run this thing called the Specific Chiropractic Center, this yep. franchise. And I think that, you know, all of our docs, they actually have different personal brands. But, but I think a lot of people are shocked to go to their offices and see them wearing shirts yep. and ties. You don't see them wearing shirts and ties out in public Absolutely or even so many times on social media. But when it comes to the real deal of doing the thing, um, we know we're not dumb. We're not going to buck the system. We like helping people more than we like wearing t-shirts. I mean, well, and I was good. That's what I was going to say. If you can actually make a bigger impact and help more people by just putting on a tie, why would you not do that? Jen Troy wants to know where you shop. Oh I gosh. Shop. So many places. Mostly. I know where you shop. Where do I shop? Saks. <laughs> Mostly Saks. Mostly Saks Fifth Avenue. Yeah. And Zara. And Zara. There you yeah. go. And people comment on both. People mm -hmm. love both. Mm hmm so that's the story of wearing... I can help anybody shop, but anyway. All right, well, time to draw some names. It's time to draw some names, yeah. Luki? The names from the canasta that have here been flown are here. Are the names. Securely. From the canasta. All right, and you have six names? No. Six names here? Six names, all right. Six names here. Are you ready? Folks, call your friends. Doing don't, this a or don't early. call your friends. Or don't call your friends. If you want a better, yeah, chance, to, I don't know. better chance to win, <laughs> maybe uh, hopefully they live in Dallas and the internet cuts out right when I call their name. Are you ready for the first name? Are you ready? I'm ready for the first name. The first name is... Are you ready? Candy Williamson. Candy Williamson. Candy! You have won $100. All you need to do is comment. All you need to do is comment. I'm Candy here. Williamson. And we're going to send you $600. Not a bad way to kick off February. Candy. $600.
candy, candy. I hope candy, candy wins, and then I can have her. I can just shop with the six hundred dollars for her. How about that, Candy? Let's see. Let's go shopping. There's lots of uh, ladies on here that want to go shopping. I mean, yeah. I mean, why not? You know, I can help. can help you. Yes, I could do like a virtual shopping. You don't shopping. even have to give her anything. Yeah. Just, she, she just, I just like to do it. Well, okay, Candy. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry, Candy. Nope. All right. Well. Ready for number two? We're good. The second winner tonight who has 30 seconds to claim his prize. His. So half of you are already eliminated. Uh-oh. Is Harper Owens. That's a good name. Harper. That is a, that is a sick name. That's a really good name. Harper. Harper Owens. Harper feels like a winner. Yeah, Harper. <laughs> Harper, are you that's on? Like, that's like a lawyer name. Oh, what more Harper than do? half. <laughs> Get, got rid of more what than is, half. What does Harper do? Yeah. I'm going to call my lawyer Harper Owens. You'll yeah. be hearing from Harper. You, yeah, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. Yeah. From you'll be hearing from my lawyer, Harper Owens. Harper Owens. Oh, yeah, it does sound like a baseball player. Oh. Batting third, playing shortstop, Harper <laughs> Owens. It could also be the name of a, of a basketball player on the opposing team. Right? You know when the guy's like, just like, Luke Mendel. Harper Owens. <laughs> <laughs> Owens and Owens. Right. I love that. Right. <laughs> Owens number and two. Owens. Number three. Coming up with number three. Uh, Who's ready to win because it's Jordan Lukens. Your neighbor. Lucky day. Your neighborhood chemistry teacher. Jordan Lukens. <laughs> Mr. Lukens. Mr. Lukens. Mr. Lukens. Mm. Mr. Yep. Lukens. Is that Jordan, are you on? Really two hydrogens? Where is everybody? Where is everybody? Is that really two hydrogens? <laughs> Where's everybody tonight? Oh my goodness. Hey, Vanessa. Vanessa, she, yep, she wants to win. I don't know what's underneath here. I can just see the next name. Ooh. We know who this is. Our, uh, Jordan. Jordan Lukens. Jordan. Jordan Lukens. No, you already did Harper. Jordan. 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 Lukens. Jordan. Lukens. Arby's roast beef sale. What does that even mean? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't want to know what that means. Everybody's laughing. Okay, shouldn't have said that out loud. Okay. All right, All right Prime family. All right. We got six hundred dollars. We know who this is. It's a great name. Six hundred dollars. Yeah, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, she is very fortunate to have won six hundred dollars. All she's gonna have to do is claim her. Be prize. on and claim. Yep. Step forward, Miss Peyton Navarin. Peyton Navarin. Peyton. This will be great. Peyton's from Las Vegas. She yep. is a personal trainer. So if you want to get in shape and you're in Las Vegas, you got to call Peyton. Work out Peyton with Peyton. might not take your call if she's here because she's going home with $600. $600. She's just got to say, yo, I am here. I am here. Peyton, just let us know where you are. Peyton. Peyton. This is amazing. Mm. One $600. Come on, Peyton. Come on, Peyton. Peyton. Like, what no. is going on? I, you know what? This is a rare day. Like, I can't even give away money. Well, we're trying. Trying to well, give away Well, we still have a couple money. more chances. We do. How we have a couple chances? more chances. This Two could more be chances. the day. We'd have to ask Bailey what, what is today. Maybe it's not a money day. Two, one, it's a three. And what yeah. that means is it when it's a three, you add two and it makes a five, but there's uh. no such thing as a five. So you back it down to a four, and four is the number of champions. Okay. But not the money and day. And the champion tonight is Lance Von Stade. Lance Von Stade, you won $600, my friend. All you have to do is claim your prize. What kind of name is Lance Von Stade? I feel like that's that like an Olymp very Olympian name. name. Like, no, oh, yeah, like, discus. you can be, yeah. Discus. Yes. <laughs> discus. I, I discus. felt like a cross country skiing, but you could go with discus. No, that's no, definitely fine. Definitely discus. No, no. Current United <laughs> States <laughs> world record holder in the discus. At 126 feet, Lance Von Stade. <laughs> All right. Now, wrestler no? or cross oh, country? Oh, horse jumping. Oh, yeah. horse jumping. There we go. Horse jumping. All right. That was a good one. Okay. All right. I love it. Horse <laughs> jumping for Lance Von Stade. No, Unfortunately, Lance, you're not taking home the prize. All right. All right. All right. What? Oh, oh my that's gosh. Tristan. Oh, of my that gosh. Was Tristan. All right. Okay, well, this one. We're not, not saying that. Name. This is a, this is a, a great name. She was just posting a ton. She sent some Ooh, great okay. stuff. Okay. She, she might yeah. be here. Are she might ready? be here. Are you ready? Last time. So look, I'm going to read one more name. They're going to have 30 seconds to claim the prize. If they're not here next week. We're $700 next $700. week. $700. That's really big money. 
You better call your friends. Yeah. I can't believe it. Seven hundred dollars that we're giving away. We're having a hard time giving away seven hundred dollars. All right, here we go. The winner of six hundred dollars tonight, if she's here, is Tanaz Mondaresi. Tanaz Mon. No, I don't think you said that right. There's no end. Mo Daresi. Mo Tanaz, are you on? Tanaz. So we could, you could tell Sean to stop ha- butchering your last Tanaz. name. We just call it, she needs no last name. She did. Everybody knows her as Tanaz. Tanaz. If you've seen just her one at the BDC like event, Madonna she just Prince. lights up the room. Everybody is like, who is that light Tanaz? But she's not lighting up the room. Mm. All right. Well, we're going to light up the room next week by giving out $700. Yeah? I actually, I feel like I'm working a little bit. What? What do you mean you're working? Like working, working to what? working hard to give away money. Like, we haven't, had, we haven't had a run where it's been this hard to find a winner. No, we went, to, we got to 1000 one time, I think. Oh, but... That was with like contributors, yeah, right? Like people a, gave money legit, to get us to a thousand. This is a this is a, this is a Sean and Lacey seven hundred out of pocket. I mean, yeah, it's one, two, three, enough. four, five, six, seven could go into your pocket. Do you know how much clothes I could buy for seven hundred dollars if one of you ladies well, wins? If you went to Zara, you could buy a lot of clothes. Lot. If you went to Saks, you could buy half a pant. Mm, maybe, yeah. <laughs> a shoelace or one shoe. <laughs> one Good shoe. Job. Yeah. One shoe. Tanaz knows a thing or two about that. She, she does. Nice. She does. All right, All right, everybody. We talked about your network of 90. We want to implore you to put that together. Start reaching out. Start connecting. Start sharing so that you start to stay top of mind. Also, listen, earn the right. Before you break the mold on how you're dressing, it's not that cool because you came out of the gates um, looking like Charlie Brown with a squiggly up and down shirt. That's not going to work. It's not Halloween. It's time for you to get your dress in accordance with the research, what the yep. public perception is. Later, once you've done your, once you've paid your time and you've paid your dues and you've established yourself with results, go ahead and do whatever you want. Seriously, nobody cares, but it's going to be hard to find that traction and that footing on the beginning um, if you are just trying to buck the trend. I mean, it's just one more thing against you and why just add and compound to the problem. Um, we are going to be back again next week. Same time, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Mark it down. Set an alarm. Tell your friends. Tell everybody who won. And tell us what you want us to talk about. Yeah, and tell us what you want to talk about. Um, Clearly, we'll talk about anything. We'll talk about almost (laughs) anything. Almost anything. Hey, Quest 7 I see tons of Quest 7 peeps on the chat. Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. We're going to be working with you for three straight days. And if you're not in Quest 7... Plug in on the Black Diamond Club member site. James is going to be sharing tons of pictures and content with you about everything that's going on because we don't like to exclude people. Follow Lacey and I on Instagram at Dr. Sean Dill. And join us for our special announcement. at blackdiamondclub.com. That's where you're going to be plugged in tomorrow for a very special groundbreaking entrepreneurial announcement that's going to rattle the entire consulting world. Don't miss it. We'll be back again next week. See ya!